Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are unboxing Nine of Earth, and this is a monthly tarot subscription. I believe this is the March box. I've had it for a little bit, but I was waiting to open it for a reason, which you will find out. Look how pretty this is. <laughs> so you get a deck every month with this box. It's either a tarot or oracle, and all the items that come in it are in, within a theme, so it's really well curated. You get a bunch of amazing items. If you're into tarot, oracle, divination like I am, witchy things, this box is great. It is $59.99. I will link it down below. This is one um, that was gifted to me, not by the company, but a friend, so thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, I love it. And I think that's all. <laughs> Let's get started. So I'm going to flip around. My address is on this other side. Let's open. Ooh, how cute. Big box. It's kind of heavy, too. It's got some weight to it. Ooh. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm get ahead of myself. The Wisdom of Intuition is the name. So I love that it gives us pricing and a description for all of the items. You might have already seen a peek of something. <laughs> I'm going to put this to the side right here. Look at even little swigglies match in the paper. I'm just a sucker for things like that. <laughs> um, wow, I'm already like giddy. I haven't even opened one of the others. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, I, this is what I saw right away and we have to look at first. Intuition, numerology number 111. This is so cool. I see repeating numbers freaking all the time. I was talking about it in one of the tarot readings I did today. Which, by the way, guys, you probably know this, but just in case, I have a tarot channel, um, and it is called Kitty Rising. I recently changed the name. I've been really called to do that for a while, and I finally did it. Airy season gave me that boost, I guess. Uh, yeah, call drive to do it, but anyways, um, yeah, I would love it if you checked it out. But I love this. I've seen some people wearing like 222 before, but I really like this. Um, I think it's one is a number that's really about like new beginnings and all of that. Um, starting new things in its airy season. And I think that's a great time to get something like this. So this has a retail value of $16.99. And I'll read what it says here. And by the way, this is gold plated stainless steel. Some believe that seeing repeated numbers are a sign from the universe that offer wisdom and direction. Number 111 is about letting your intuition guide you and manifesting your thoughts into reality. Trust in your gut instinct and know that you are where you are supposed to be. You guys, I love this. I'm so excited. This is probably my favorite necklace that we've gotten from them. We get a piece of jewelry every month, it seems. And they're all cute and stuff. And they're usually like stones. But I've just been really into numerology, like studying it too. Um... And just paying attention to numbers in general and how they play out in my life. Love this. So starting out good. <laughs> Next. Ooh, nice. I love mushrooms. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it in the plastic. It doesn't look too reflective. This is by Nine of Earth, Third Eye Shaga. <laughs> kind of sounds like chakra. It's cute. Shaga mushroom powder. Ooh, let's see what it says about this. $3.99. Known as the king of mushrooms, the Shaga medicinal mushroom is one of the most potent antioxidants on earth and most regarded for its immune fighting benefits and multiple health boosting properties. However, it also holds the highest food source of melatonin or melanin sorry, in the world, which helps decalcify the pineal gland. The pineal gland is a small endocrine gland that, gland that resembles a pine cone and is located deep in your brain. A calcified pineal gland affects cognitive abilities, your sleep regulation, judgment, perception, etc. Some believe the pineal gland to be connected to our third eye chakra. From a spiritual perspective, the third eye is what connects us to our purpose and sense of knowing. Keeping your pineal gland as healthy as possible may assist you in keeping your intuition at its top optimal performance. And add one teaspoon to your coffee, juice, yogurt, smoothie for an extra health boost. It contains four servings per packet. I'm so excited about this. I want to incorporate more things like this, more pow um, more mushroom um, ingredients into my life. And I am all about <laughs> decalcifying my pineal gland. I stopped using fluoride products a while ago, and I really pay attention to the source of my water and all of that. So totally going to do some more research into chaga itself, but love this. Love it, love it. I'll put that in my coffee for sure in the morning. But let's keep going. What's in this little bag? Look at this bag even matched. What do you see? <laughs> um, 
Ooh, I think this smells. Wait. Okay, this must not be very. Oh my god, is this a selenite bowl? <gasps> a selenite moon bowl. Selenite's so fragile. I'm so glad. This probably was in the extra bag. <gasps> oh my god, I love this. $22. This is so cute. I love selenite. You can put crystals in here to charge them. So let's read it. The moon symbolizes mystery, hidden knowledge, and intuition. Selenite stone is said to be amazing at charging other crystals and cleansing the chakras. It is said to be especially helpful for use with the crown chakra, the energy center which controls your higher state of consciousness. Selenite constantly recharges itself and items near it. The selenite moon ball is perfect for charging your favorite crystals and jewelry. I freaking love this, you guys. This might be one of my favorite boxes by them. I do already have the deck that's in here, but it's okay because you know what's coming. <laughs> okay. What is this cute thing? Is this a bath bomb? Is this what I smell? Ooh, yes. Oh my god. I need to do another one. Look at this. <laughs> it's like a lot. Gates to Paradise. <gasps> There's Labradorite in this? The scent is lilies, pineapple, and incense. Labradorite is your portal to access higher realms of wisdom. Connect to the divine and uncover parts of your subconscious that link to your divine purpose in life. It connects us to unseen realms and increases our intuitive abilities. It holds space for transformation, which can be the most painful experience to go through. This is an incredibly protective stone, shielding you from negativity and harm as you transition into your new shell. I love Labradorite. Oh my god, I wonder if this is one of those bath bombs you put in the water and then there's a stone in it. This is so pretty. Let's see what it says. This is an $11 value. Okay, so yeah, it's embedded with Labradorite crystal. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to read this whole thing again because I think it's pretty much what I read, but this is awesome. It's from the Crystal Bar Shop, and it's so cute. <laughs> oh my god, I love Labradorite. Yay. Oh, is this a little information on it? Crystal Bar Soap. Made with love. Everything in your order was made to bring a little extra magic to your day. And there's a code here to get 10% off your order. Nice. I see an oh, there's crystal in here. Let's see. Oh, I think it might be a pendulum. Indigo ga Gabbro pendulum? Okay, can I not get this open? Okay, <laughs> I got it. Did I get it? Come on. It is a pendulum. Indigo Gabbro pendulum. I don't know much about this, so I'm even more excited. 1999. Indigo Gabbro. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. <laughs> Also known as Mystic Merlinite, is a powerful stone for intuition and manifestation. It's known for being grounded, grounding, as well as having the ability to connect with your higher consciousness. Pendulums Connect is a supporting tool for your intuition. Adding a pendulum to your spiritual practice can help you level up by learning how strong your instincts are. Your pendulum works with subtle energy of your own intuition. You know, I've been thinking about how I want to start using pendulums. I have a few but maybe I just didn't connect to them enough. I just don't really reach for them. I'm going to work with this one and see how that goes. This is perfect to put in the intuition box. It's really beautiful, too. And I don't have any indigo gabbro. I feel like when I say gabbro, I sound like such a white person. I don't know. Indigo gabbro pendulum. Mystic merlinite. I like some of that. But I'm definitely going to do some research with this and work with it. I am excited. Pendulums are great for, like, yes or no questions. But this, I was seriously thinking about that recently, how I want to start using pendulums. So I'm so glad I got that. So that's like stimulating, that is helping me uh, start doing that habit and working with one. So now the deck of the month is a new release. Hold on, let me move the box now. And one of my favorite decks, seriously connected with it right away, Tarot of the Owls. This came out like two months ago. So I love that they feature new decks. And this deck is awesome, you guys. Sorry, it's reflective. So this is by Pamela Shen, Chen in the arts by Elizabeth Elba. It's $31.99. And it says, unlock your intuition. <laughs> unlock your intuition with wisdom from owls of all shapes and sizes. This Rider Waite Smith-based deck features spectacular artwork by Elizabeth Elba and a companion guide by Pamela Shen. Uh, Tarot of the Owls teaches you how to use your insights to conquer daily challenges and create the life you truly desire. You guys, I've used this in all of my April um, Zodiac readings, and I think it was in the April Pick a Card. I don't know, but it was in the Zodiac readings for sure. And um, I've just been loving it, and I used it so everyone could see that and know that a giveaway was coming. So I'm actually, I mean, sometimes it's a bummer when you get a deck you already own. 
but I do own like over 60. <laughs> but I just love this deck. So it excites me that I can share this with one of you guys. So um, I'll grab my box and show you more of the insides. And I put all my cards in order. So I'm going to do a giveaway on my other channel, Kitty Rising. I'm going to do a full deck flip through and then um, have a giveaway over there. So I will link that video down below. I haven't filmed it yet, but I will um, post it at the same time as this video. So it's a way of giving back to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you so much. So you get 78 cards and a 224-page guidebook. So I'm going to grab mine. It's right up here. So I love this. So who is it published by? I forget. Llewellyn. Has a magnetic closure. Let me open up. Here's the book. I haven't looked through this at all yet, I'll be honest. Oh my god, for a second I thought I had a card still in there. <laughs> That's what the back of the cards look like. And here is the book. So, colored book. Very nice. So, in my other video, when I do a full deck flip through, I will um, show you guys every card and then I'll shuffle it and draw a card for the collective and then we'll look and see. Uh, what it says in here. So I like that they have a little description and an upright and a reverse meaning and then you can see the full image of the card there. And they have it for the minor and the major arcanas. Let's look at the table of contents. I love the back. I love everything about this here. Uh, so cute. <laughs> I love her hair. Pretty too. Um, I guess I actually, I don't usually use guidebooks. I've been reading tarot for a while now, but sometimes I like to do, because sometimes you learn a little something new. Look how freaking cute. I was talking about this, was it Capricorn's reading? Yeah, and Capricorn's reading, this came out, and I was like, this is just the happiest little owl I've ever seen. I love it so much. <laughs> Dedicated to all the feather friends in my life, especially the ones that pay rent and eggs. <laughs> so the tale of content, oh, it's so cute. The calling, rules of the realm, know it owl. <laughs> Oh wow, they have a good, it's a star card. They have a big intro here. And then talks about how to use the cards and all of that. And then cleansing your deck. So there's a lot of information here, even if you're new to Tara, that you'll know, like even gives you interviewing your deck. You can do how to shuffle. Wow, jack of all trades. <laughs> I like that. Your tarot practice can be something just for you. Use this personal development tool. And it goes into so very nice book good for beginners and it is oh and there's um some spreads in the back too this is nice oh i should check these out i like learning new spreads spread your wings perfect so they have original spreads in here love that taking flight awesome so i put mine in order like i said here are the backs I like the size of these two. Actually, a few. So it is very close to the Rider Waite Smith. Maybe that's why it reads so well, but I just have had such a great experience with this deck. And I have seen, I didn't really watch the videos, but I've seen other um, tarot YouTubers talk about how they love it. I can just tell by their thumbnails and stuff. Like someone, was it like Tarot Oracle? He's like, best deck of the year? Like, honestly, this is my favorite new release for sure. Look how cool this looks. I really am enjoying this. It reads super well. Let me know your thoughts. Again, I, I use this in all of the um, April readings, so you may have seen this and in other readings as well. But next, I'm going to film the deck flip through and the giveaway, so definitely check that out. I would love for you guys to enter, so I want to get back to you guys. I seriously do love you guys so much. I'm so, so grateful for all of you. You guys are my best friends. You're the best. I love you so much. So definitely make sure to check out my other channel. I'm doing it over there because it's a tarot channel. So the deck flip throughs I do over there and also I'm trying to grow it as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really liked this. Again, I mean, it's the bummer in a way that I don't have a new deck for myself, but it really does make me happy that I can share with you guys. I love this selenite bowl and this necklace probably the most. But I'm really excited to learn more about this mushroom product and use that. This is so cute too. I'm not a huge bath person, but I was also just thinking about that recently. I like doing um, cleansing, like spiritual baths sometimes. I just want to like one day live in a place with a bigger, nicer bath and stuff like that. Mine's just like standard and I need to clean it. Like I'm like one of those people, I don't want to sit in it because I want it to be like pristine first. <laughs> but maybe this will motivate me to look cute at least. I love the green. Green's my favorite. But yeah, I think they do a great job um, really curating their boxes. 
and it is a more of an expensive subscription, but you get a deck every month and then all these other items. So you, you get like around a hundred dollars worth in value, I believe. Um, they say each month. I could add this up right now, but my phone is my calculator and it's what's filming. <laughs> but anyways, I am going to go film the deck flip through and giveaway video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment, and do something special for yourself. I love you so, so much. I'm so grateful for you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.